So the other day, a friend sent me a link to something that he was working on on Squarespace, I believe, where his header image uh, sort of got scrunched away, but also faded to white. And I thought, wow, that's cool. It would be sweet if Muse would let me uh, have an image fade out or fade in based on scroll position. Uh, and it kind of it kind of looked like this, whereas you're scrolling, um, see that the image moves away and fades to white. And right at the moment where the image gets crushed, it's gone completely to white. Uh, I really like that effect. There's something pretty cool about it. Uh, I'm fascinated by it. Not everyone will be. But if you like this, let me show you how I did it using Muse. Because what you're looking at right now was made in Muse. So it all starts with uh, sort of cheating by creating a big gradient in Photoshop and saving it as a PNG. The top of the gradient is transparent and it gradually goes to white and I've got it going to white uh, right about here and then the rest of it is just solid white. Uh, but once you have this uh, PNG created, mine's 960 pixels wide. I honestly forget how tall it is. Let's look. It's 1500 pixels tall. So it's a pretty big PNG. And then what I've done is I've gone into Muse and I've dropped that PNG here which is very very big and I've put it underneath but overlapping my header image and the other thing that I've done is I've told Muse that I would like to add scroll motion that's on the scroll effects palette now if you're on the updated version of Muse and that is scrolling at a speed of 7 it's scrolling much faster than everything else so essentially this gradient is sliding up and over the image uh, as we start to scroll down. It's scrolling up and over really fast. Uh, speed of 7 is pretty darn fast. Uh, and then I also added a little scroll motion to my fill here. Uh, if you want an image fill like this to scroll at a different speed uh, so the image seems to kind of slip within its box, uh, you do need to make sure that the fitting is set to tile and then on the scroll tab here uh, you turn on scroll motion and I've got mine scrolling at 0.5 so it's scrolling a bit slower than the uh, box that it's in and if we go and preview that again you can see here that it's scrolling slower than the box and the white is coming up over it and it's fading away um, you might think okay well now this page uh, it has all this space that I can't use but as long as you just put everything else on top of this white box uh, it'll still slip up and over the header regardless of what you've put on top of it so uh, you really can't go wrong once you get this set so just remember big old gradient scrolling at a speed of seven uh, the vertical position of this will also determine uh, how soon or how late the fade happens so you might need to fine-tune that a little bit and then if you want you can set this to scroll within its box at half speed if you want yours to look just like mine so if you like this tutorial I've got more cool stuff coming soon please subscribe